Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today is the last art class of the school year, and it's going to be very special and wonderful. And today we're making puppets, because that is a favorite among many of my first grader friends. It's very special, because it is an artwork you can play with. And summer is about to start. Let the wild rumpus begin. Let's get weird how fun and use our imaginations. Summer, right? So, for this project, you need a piece of paper and some drawing tools. Also, it might be nice to have some fabric scraps on hand. Let's get started. Project. We're going to start with our paper the long way, doing what I call a burrito fold. I know most of us have folded a paper into a roll and gone like this at some point. I think we all know how to do this. Now, all you got to do to turn this into a burrito fold is to take your kind of like an alligator hand and then smoosh it and push bend the edge to a nice clean corner. See? Burrito fold. Next, we're going to fold it in half like a letter V. Take that alligator hand out again and fold it up. And we're going to fold it down this way. And in the end, it'll look like an, a letter M, kind of, or a zigzag. Boop. See? Now we're going to fold it down this way. And, friends, this might take a couple of tries. We're bringing our growth mindset to this. We got it. Letter M. Burp, 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 burp. We have a letter M. Very chill. Now, look here. We have these pockets in the burrito fold that you can stick your fingers in and now this is a good start but I think it needs some eyes and a tongue and I don't know maybe some ears I haven't quite decided what I'm making yet maybe a rhinoceros what do you think I'm going to use some scrap paper to cut out and glue on it to give it ears and like a little horn Ta-da! Here's my rhinoceros puppet. And this is what I did, but you could really transform this into any creature you can think of. Like you can add ears, horns, wings even. Might be kind of cool to do like a wing on either side. You can add like a long tongue because you know how chameleons and frogs have that long like bleh, tongue they use to catch and fly. So that would be awesome. But I hope you have fun with this. I know when I did this with another group of students recently, they originally thought they were going to make one puppet. Next thing I knew, puppets had taken over the entire school like it was the Muppets or something. You know, Jim Henson vibes. And the kids kept making puppets because they wanted to make artwork they could play with and that could interact with each other and tell stories. So I hope you give this a try. I would love to see you do this and transform puppets into any type of creature or person you can think of. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Thanks for making art. Bye. Have fun making art.